Welcome back to One Bit Table, friends. Today we're talking about sharing with a very special guest. Hello everyone, my name is Christian. I'm one of the co-founders of the Ogo Kasha Co-op based out of Kelowna. Christian, are you ready to cook some risotto? You bet I am. Let's do some cooking. Next step is called brillantatura. We're gonna make the rice shine. A little bit of more olive oil and we're gonna toast it on high heat for about five, six minutes. Temperature is going way up. It's gonna help to activate the starch and make for a really creamy risotto. So the goal at this point is we're gonna add our stock in increments and you wanna, go, you wanna shoot for three separate uh, times. The whole process from start to finish should take about 18-20 minutes. The first we added our stock, uh, the second increment of liquid that we're gonna add is gonna be our red wine. See how there's very little liquid yeah. at the bottom? Now it's time to add our red wine. experience to make risotto. You really have to pay attention, you really have to smell, you really have to taste. And, but that's what the really fun part of making it is, because it's such a personal cooking experience. It smells so, it so that's good. <laughs> sharing you know maybe your toys or yeah. maybe your room and then I think also in the society we grew up in sharing was not a big component of, of everyday living to begin really with. yeah we yeah, begin with and I think sharing brings us together as a society so uh, it has a lot of uh, inherent values yeah. You came to the Caraga Valley, you wanted to do something related to sharing, and you came up with the car share. How did this whole thing came to be? Uh, good question. I, uh, when I moved here about three years ago, uh, I did some research beforehand around um, sustainable mobility, so I kind of felt like I really would like to continue working in that sector. There weren't that many opportunities here in the Okanagan, so one of the ideas was to start a car share. A year and a half later, we yeah, we launched with two vehicles and 35 members. Now we're at five vehicles and 145 members. Can you tell us a bit about your, your experience with Sherry? Uh, from the beginning to the end, if you can kind of summarize the process. I grew up in Eastern Germany and where people didn't have access to a, you know, to a lot of a lot of goods. So people did share the things they they owned, and just because out of necessity. So I think 
you know, I think maybe some of my background was really kind of shaped, or my you know, upbringing was really shaped by you know, the environment. Yeah, when I came here, I when I moved here, I, I, I didn't want to buy a vehicle, so we I just got around town with transit or bike, or occasionally I uh, got a ride from a friend. The idea of, of car sharing was really uh, something that would really help me to to help meet my transportation needs. And yeah. car sharing has been existing for you know over 20 years. Uh, it's been it was really well established in bigger metropolitan areas, but. Um, yeah, it was kind of a, a definitely a challenge to bring car sharing to a small community and try to make it work. And because yeah. eventually the transportation needs are very similar to if you go to a big city or or a smaller community, you, you always have that transportation need that needs to be somehow met. Yeah, just a way, or matter of finding the way that you can meet that, and ideally with the lowest cost as possible. We currently have 145 members and five vehicles, so yeah. we're um, yeah, we, we've grown quite a bit. It's a family. It's a big family. It is a very big family, and it's great because you know, being a co-op, we're really owned by the community. So it's really up to the community to to see car share grow. Usually, car sharing or people join car sharing because something changes in their life. And one of those examples is when you know a couple breaks up. The one person gets the car. The other person gets the cat. And now the person with the cat is wondering how in the world will they get uh, or able to pick up the cat food. So it's kind of the situation that where you really find yourself in a situation where you really have to rethink your transportation habits and, yeah. and be creative around them. Where transit might not take me, car sharing is, yeah. is, is definitely been very helpful to help that transportation need in that specific time. But overall, I think what sharing at least car, in my experience, it, it really connected me to this community. My expertise is food, and so I share food. Your expertise, what you brought to the Okanagan Valley is, is sharing car sharing. Uh, and it's so nice to see different people that have, you know, they're young, they're, they're wanting to do things, and they have that approach towards, towards our community, because then we're really building a community that, that understands the concept of sharing. You know, and sometimes you might not want to share, but, but it's nice, the idea that it is a, it's a common concept that you're constantly dealing with is, is I think, a, a big benefit uh, for our future generation, you know, and to be able to really grow and expand in a way that is sustainable. So, you know, thank you. Thank you for sharing this meal. Thank you for sharing the car share. And uh, let's go and kick your ass at table hockey. Oh!